You're watching the book reviewer with Cindy Brady, where we make hardcovers soft. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of the book reviewer with your host Cindy. And I have another book review to share with you, you guys. Okay, that's better. Um, I am here to review one of these books that I actually got for free um, via Amazon. It's called Stone Song, and it is by... Um, oh my gosh, I can't remember. It is called, it is called Stone Song, a novel of the life of Crazy Horse. And it's by Wynne Blevins, and it is 580 pages, and here's what this one is about. Stone Song is the classic and extraordinarily told story of the Lakota Seahawks mystic warrior Crazy Horse. Of all the iconic figures of Native American history, Crazy Horse remains the most Igmatic. To this day, he strides across American history as a man who lived and died on his own terms. Stone Song is a deeply spiritual story about the soul journey of a great and mysterious American hero. The Dallas Morning News said that. Ridiculed as a boy for his white man looks, he called for a vision and received a great one, a vision that would shape his life. He was to fight for his people. In order to be successful, he must not accept traditional Lakota finery rewards and would sacrifice the dream of a wife and children. By following his dream and his destiny of that as a mystic warrior, he is able to lead his people to their greatest victory, the defeat of General Custer at the Battle of Little Bighorn. Called to his monumental task and tortured by his deeply passionate love of a woman, the crazy horse found peace not only in battle, only in battle. Drawing inspiration from the eternal wisdom of his people, he discovered the means to defeat the U.S. Army at his own deadly game. Now, honestly, guys, um, I did not finish it. I only got about... Oh, I think about 30 pages in before I kind of stopped reading. Um, this book is good for what it is. Um, so, as I described in the synopsis, it says that he is on a deeply spiritual journey and the simplicity of it is really good because then you can understand what he's um, thinking and experiencing and things like that but and as a spiritual person, I do understand the spiritual journeys and things like that, but it's like when you're in one religion and you try to understand the traditions, the feasts and things like that of a religion, it gives you sort of a glimpse to that lifestyle and it was a little bit hard to understand at first um, this is a classic so I'm not sure where the disconnect l lay but it was okay it was a good book um, for what it was um, for those that are interested in American history and history in general I think that this would be a good book for you guys to read um, 
it does have a Kindle edition. Um, I will link that down in the description. And I just couldn't get that far into it. Um, I know I'm supposed to be the book reviewer, but sometimes, sometimes you just got to go with it and figure out that some books are just not your thing, not your style, not something that you particularly enjoy. So, um, I recommend it for some people, um, for those that have, um, <clears throat> excuse me, um, ancestors that were Amer uh, Indians, especially Lakota, um, and I think they mentioned another type of Indian in there. I think it might have been Seox. I'm not sure. Um, so I, I struggled with this book a little bit because of it coming from such a sacred place. I mean, not sacred as in maybe something that you don't ever talk about, but it's something that, um, that this author spent many years writing. And I do appreciate that, but like I've said, the book may not just be for me. And that's okay, because not all books are going to appeal to your style, to your life, to um, the things that you're going through. And not every book speaks to that, but this book is good for what it is. So, um, and I'm rambling right now. Um, so if you guys are interested in history, if you are interested in Indians, if you're interested in their spiritual journeys, this would be a book for you. Like I said, I'll link it in the description below. Um, and in the cards above. So that's my book review for today. Thanks for watching, you guys. Thanks for subscribing. Keep reading. Don't stop believing. And we will see you again tomorrow. I can't say if it's going to be another book review or, or just some real talk. So, we'll see. Thanks, guys. Bye.